Okay, let's solve a simple beam reaction problem. What you have in front of you here is a simple beam with a single point load that's not in the center of the beam. So before we solve the problem, we have to talk about a few things. First of all, I want to talk about how, uh, how we replace these different supports with reactions. The one on the left we call a pin. And the one on the right we call a roller. Okay. And a pin has two reactions a horizontal reaction and a vertical reaction. A roller just has a vertical reaction. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to ask ourselves can we solve this problem? We have three equations of equilibrium. The sum of the forces in the x direction have to equal zero, we'll call to the right positive. The sum of the forces vertically or in the y direction have to be equal zero, we'll call up positive. The sum of the moments about all points have to equal zero as well, and let's call counterclockwise positive. So the question is, can we solve this? Well, we have three unknowns and three equations of equilibrium, so yes, we can solve them. So what we want to do is we want to replace these supports with their reactions and we get a resulting free body diagram. So let's call this first one RLV for the left one that's vertical, RRV for the right one that's vertical, and RH for the horizontal reaction. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our three equations of equilibrium to solve for these three unknowns. The first one's pretty easy. Because our load is only in the vertical direction, we can start by solving some of the forces in the x direction equal zero. You can see the only force that we have in the x direction is RH, so the sum of the forces in the x direction equal zero equals RH, therefore RH is equal to zero kips, and we're done with that one. Now, the next question is, which of the other two equations should we use next? We could do the sum of the forces in the y direction equal zero, but you see we have two unknowns. So, what I recommend is starting next with the sum of the moment equation. So, the sum of the moment equals zero. And we have to pick a point about which to take the moments. We could pick any point. We could pick the point of the load, we call that A. We could pick the left support, call that B. We could pick the right support, call that C. And it turns out that if we pick one of the supports, B or C, we will end up having one of the two reactions dropping out of the equations. So let's pick B. And what we want to do is we want to uh, find the moment of each of the forces shown in the diagram about point B. So let's be explicit here and even include the ones RH and RLV that go directly through point B. So let's write them out here. We get RLV times 0 feet plus RH times 0 feet. Then we've got the 5 kips, and it's 12 feet away from B. Okay. Now the question is, is that positive or negative? Well, again, counterclockwise is positive. If I look at point B, we see that this force, the 5 kips, is going this way, okay, which is a clockwise therefore it's a negative. And then we get our RV and that's times 17 feet. Again, we have to determine which way is it going. About point B, our RV wants to spin us this way, which is positive, because it's counterclockwise. So we get a positive sign there, and this has to sum 
to 0. Okay, well this one's obviously 0, this one's 0, this is minus 60 kip B plus RRV times 17 feet, that all equals 0. Solving for RRV, we get 60 kip feet equals RRV times 17 feet, or RRV is equal to 60 kip feet divided by 17 feet. Notice the feet cancel out. We get RRV in terms of kips, and the answer is 3.53 kips. So R, R, V is equal to 3.53 kips. Does this make sense? Well, since the load is to the right of center, we'd expect the reaction on the right side here to be bigger than the reaction on the left side because it's the, the load is closer to this side. And so it does make sense that 3.53 is bigger than 2.5, which is half of 5. And 2.5 would be the, the reaction if the loads were both in the middle. Now let's use our third equation of equilibrium. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. Sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. Again, we found that this one was 3.53 kips. So now we just add everything up. We, we get RLV, and that's going up, so it's positive, minus 5 kips. 5 kips is going down, it's negative, plus 3.53 kips. And of course, that all equals 0. So RLV is equal to 5 kips minus 3.53 kips which equals 1.47 kips. So RLV is equal to 1.47 kips. A few things to note about these two answers. First of all, it makes sense, like I said, that the larger reaction is closer to the force and the smaller reaction is further away. You'll also notice that it's proportional. So for instance, 1.47 is equal to 5 seventeenths of 5 kips. So 5 seventeenths. And 3.53 is equal to 12 seventeenths of 5 kips. So it's the reaction on the right end is the proportion of the long distance to the overall length. And that's another way we can check our numbers.